Hi, I'm Jason Weinberger, conductor of the Waterloo Cedar Falls Symphony, here at our home at the Gallagher Blue Dorn Performing Arts Center in Cedar Falls. Now every year, one of my favorite things to do as director of the symphony is to visit elementary school classrooms across the Cedar Valley, talking to so many of you about music and the orchestra and conducting, all of it leading up to our big youth concerts that we hold every spring. Well, of course, right now in the middle of a pandemic, we're not able to safely host a big concert here at the Gallagher. So instead, we've decided to bring you behind the music through our new series, Music Makes Me. In this series, we're going to explore how music affects us, the ways it makes us feel certain things and think certain things. And each episode will feature a different type of music. And after we have a chance to hear some of that music, musicians from the orchestra will talk about the experience of performing it why it makes us feel a certain way, and even how they feel being on stage with the orchestra. Now for this very first episode, I am your special guest, and I am going to talk about the title of the series, Music Makes Me, because after all, I'm a professional musician. This is what I do for a living, and I'm very lucky to do it. And one of the most important responsibilities that I have as the conductor of the orchestra is helping to select the music that we play. So I thought it would be interesting for you to hear a little bit about that process, especially because when you think about it, the music I pick really does make me. I end up performing it on stage with my colleagues, talking to you all about it. Uh, I feel very closely tied to the music, and so I wanted to give you a personal look at why I choose some of the music the symphony plays. So we're going to start with a really wonderful piece that I think very few of you have probably ever heard before. It's a concert overture by a composer named Florence Price. wonder how that music makes you feel. It makes me feel calm. It makes me feel inspired. It makes me feel excited. But most of all, it makes me feel me. When I hear Florence Price's music, I feel like I'm listening to my own music. Um, now let me explain that a little bit. Um, of course, I'm American. I was born in California and lived there for um, the first part of my life. And then I lived on the East Coast. I had the great fortune of even working in Washington, D.C. for a couple of years, right by our nation's capital. Now I live in the Midwest. I've been really fortunate to experience many different parts of our country. And as I've traveled around and lived in different places, that map of experiences has helped me understand who I am and what it means to be 
an American. Uh, well, music works kind of the same way. Um, it can be like a map for your ears. Uh, and so when we listen, listen to different kinds of music, we can travel to wonderful places, or we can also understand more about who we are. And I really think this is one of the, the most important things that music does for us. It helps us create this map through which we can understand ourselves. And that's why I think it's so important for us to hear the music of Florence Price. She's one of the great American composers, born in Little Rock, Arkansas. She lived in Chicago, not far from here in Iowa. And during her lifetime, she was the first black woman to have her music performed by a major symphony orchestra. It was the Chicago Symphony. She overcame all sorts of obstacles, um, both because of her African-American background and because she was a woman. Uh, those two groups of people have historically been excluded somewhat from concert life. So she achieved a tremendous amount. But in her music especially, she helped us understand who we are. Let's listen to just a little bit more so you can see what I mean. So the music you just heard is based on a spiritual sinner. Please don't let this harvest pass. And why is that important? Well, if you think about an orchestra, and I know many of you have had a chance to start learning about the orchestra, um, the instruments and the different families of instruments, the composers who uh, we typically perform. And one of the things you've probably noticed is that many of the instruments are older, were invented hundreds of years ago, and many of the composers we perform on a regular basis uh, also lived two or three hundred years ago, maybe over in Europe. Now Florence Price inherited this older tradition, but she decided to fuse it with music that came from her own native tradition, her tradition here in America. Uh, and so this is one of the things that really truly does make her work so important to us, uh, the way she was able to bring together these different voices into a new whole. That's very American. Uh, what's also really remarkable about Florence Price is the fact that her music was almost completely destroyed. Now, she was well known during her lifetime, but a whole uh, collection of her written music and manuscripts uh, was almost destroyed in, in a dilapidated home in Chicago before being rescued. I think about 20 or 30 years ago. So when I think about uh, Florence Price's music um, and what it does for me as a musician and as a listener, maybe one of the things I feel most is that uh, Florence Price's music and her story make me feel grateful. Um, I'm grateful that her music exists and I'm especially grateful for what it helps teach me about myself as a musician and as an American. And finally, I'm really grateful that we'll be back with you again soon for our next episode of Music Makes Me.